you are seeing the soil health benefits from that as well? Oh, I mean, the, the following the cane crops. The following crop. cane crops, there's, there's no comparison. There's no, I feel there's no comparison, and especially even out to the first platoon. So we're at Paul Villas's farm here. How are you going, Paul? Good, thanks. Hey, mate, I just want to ask you some questions about this place. How long have you been here now? When did you first move here? We moved here in 2005. 2005. And was it just mainly all sugar cane when you first started here? It was, yeah. 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 So there had been, the previous owners had done a little bit of um, rotational cropping, but yeah, they were yeah. only just sort of starting. Yeah. And, and what was your main interest in, in going to a rotational crop or... No. Uh, do you just grow mung beans, soybeans? What do you grow? Yeah, we, we started we started out with mungs and soys. Mm. Um, the, the main reason was was just to to, to break the cropping cycle and um, and to, to to you know try different things and and see how it went. So you were trying to improve soil health, obviously, but at the same time, were you always selling them to a market? Or, yes. or yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm a firm believer of, especially in the Burdekin, where land values are high. You know, we, we do have the we do have the water. Um, I think if if you're going to go to the trouble of planting a, a break crop, it, it's it's really important, I think, to to get some value out of it. Yeah, and so. Has it always been smooth sailing? Has it? How, when you first started planting legumes here, obviously you come from a different area originally. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Was there many challenges? Oh, there's there's been many challenge, many challenges along the way, and probably the the thing that helped us the most was we were lucky. Our next door neighbour was came here at the same time, and he was from Claremont, so he had all the gear. So we didn't have to go out and buy gear straight away, so we could have a dabble. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's grown from there. So uh, so that's really helpful. So you've had someone that you've been able to hire it off, and so yes. you, and, and now you actually you've purchased your own machine. Yeah, well we, we've come we you know we've come along, we've kept going, we you know we we've made a bit of money along the way out of them, and, and been able to purchase their own machinery. So so you would have been growing these legume crops back when prices were a bit well, let's just say not as good as they yeah, are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and obviously. Yes, you are making some money, but you are seeing the soil health benefits from that as well. Oh, I mean, the, the following the cane following crop. cane crops. There's there's no comparison. There's no. I feel there's no comparison, and especially even out to the first return. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting. Have you ever had trouble? I don't know if you've got. I know some people have water restrictions and stuff like that. Have you got any issues like that, or problems with your water being saline or something like that? Well, are, are they issues that you've come across with well, some of these crops? It, it is an issue. Like it's an issue of making sure you, you know you, you can't. Cane's king, of course, and you don't. You know, you're trying not to to restrict the amount of water you have to for your cane to to grow a bean crop. Yeah. Um, but it, it seems to work out, you know, you can, it's a balancing act, but you, you can make it work. And, and what about marketing? You've had no issues with marketing your crops or, or transport and handling, trying to get them from, because oh, well, we are a long way away from Yeah, it. and it is it's definitely an issue, but, but we, we've developed some great relationships with some, some marketers and um, you know, they've been really keen to work with us. Oh, that's great. What about um, your actual yields? Have your yields improved in your legume crops? Oh, you said your sugarcane crops have. Are your legume crops actually improving as well as varieties have changed? Yeah, look, look, we started back in the, like, uh, back when Stuart first came out, it was our first soybeans we ever planted, and um, they were okay, but, you know, we were still learning how to grow them too. We were having, you know, we had a few dramas, and mung beans back then, we, we had, Birkin was the only variety, and, yeah, it was... Mm. You know, it was agronomically, it was nothing compared to the ones we got today. Yeah. And I see you've got a, a really big mill mud spreader there or, or some sort of green waste spreader. Is that something that you, you know, you're obviously trying to improve your soil health even more. Is that a big part of the system? Y yeah, because cause we're so close to claiming a mill, we, um, we utilise the, the the mill byproducts, yep. and they're they're great benefits to our soil as well, especially in because we we have trouble with soakage, and it'd be a great food source as well, I'd imagine, for biology. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Um, so, what's your what's your goals for the farm? What do you how do you how do you benchmark yourself? At, you know, improvement over the years. Is there a way that you have personally? 
Um, or is it economics? I mean, look, you know, everyone has a different way of sort of... Well, we've sort of... It's just sort of been an evolving sort of system, I guess. It, it, every year we change something. Um, and it doesn't always go smoothly. Like, like even going from beans to cane, like you can have trouble with the stubble and, and you know, trying to get the water to the end and, and all those things. But yeah, we've come, tried to come up with solutions along the way too. Yeah. yeah. And I, I feel we've got a pretty good system at the moment. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It's, it's, um, it's a very positive looking farm now. If you have a look around, it looks very lush and the improvements obviously over time are starting to really take effect. So appreciate your time, Paul. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks, Terry. <laughs>